Hi everyone, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on getting started with custom coriander that Anthony Wesley has made available. To begin with, we're going to take the downloaded tgzip file sitting on the desktop here and extract it via CLI. That's tar z x c v f coriander. And I use tab to complete that. That's what that little tab is there. So now you see it opens up a file with the path here in user, okay, local bin. So cd user, oh we don't want a slash in front of it, that's tricky now, okay. So we're on the desktop, we're going to go to the desktop user local bin. So be careful about that, print the working directory, it's in the home, my user desktop, okay. Now we do a LSLA on it. You see the permissions are set for executable. However, Coriander requires a set UID, so we're going to do a sudo. Actually, you don't even need a sudo on this one since it's not in the user bin directory. So we're going to chmod 4755. I don't fully understand all that, how that works, but it works. Make sure you change the local directory one with a dot slash. Okay. Now. We see, move that out of the way there, we see that it has an uh, extra little thing on it and it's colored red for me, but uh, its permissions are set a little differently now. So now when we run it, we're going to run it with a dot slash coriander, and I don't have the camera plugged in. So that's the error it will give, and the next tutorial we will see with the camera plugged in how that all works. Thanks.